Okay, hello. Whoa, okay, sorry. Uh, so, this is the second time I'm trying to record this, because apparently the first time it did not record. But anyways, um, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm just kind of coloring this drawing of Finn Wolfhard. I'm mainly doing his neck, and I'm doing a little bit of face details near the end. So, yeah. Also, I wanted to answer a few questions, like frequently asked questions that I get, such as, like, how old I am? I'm 16. Um, yeah, my birthday is in December. Yeah. <laughs> also, what materials I use? So, like, I thought I would, like, briefly go over, like, the materials I use. So, majority of the time, I'm using my Copic markers. I have like a weird selection of Copic markers because I've gotten them at various places at various times. And I also have some Copic Chow markers. So yeah. And then um, recently I also have gotten the Ohu brush markers which really fun. Really love them. If you want I could do a direct comparison video because I think that would be really fun to do. <laughs> but um, in this video directly. I'm using only Prismacolor color pencils, those are the only color pencils I use because I haven't branched out yet, mainly because I have no money, um, but yeah, I only use Prismacolor color pencils, like that's a big question I get on every single one of my TikTok videos, um, that I use color pencils, they're all Prismacolor, don't use anything else, but you also see me use a blending stub, which I just got a pack of like I don't even know, like, 10 off of Amazon for really cheap, and, like, yeah, that's basically all I'm using in the video. Um, oh, I also am using a white jelly roll in the video. So, yeah, that's everything in the video. But also, in some of my TikTok videos, I have used, um, some pens, which I only use, like, Bic pens. So, uh, yeah, I use, like, the big round stick grip in purple, mainly. But I also have it in blue and pink and red and I think that's all. I don't know. But recently I've gotten um, like a big pack of, why did I say pack like that? Um, of just the round stick pens, which are like, they don't have like the grippy thing on like the cap part. But like they work the same, but I really like the way that the blue one looks in the sketchbook or the ELO sketchbook that I'm using currently, but I also have them in black, so like, I like to mix those ones. Also, the paper in this video is the Strathmore Tone Gray paper, which, um, yeah, I love. I use that a lot, and I also use the Strathmore Toned Tan paper, which I also get a lot of questions about, so yeah. I just realized you can totally see the pens that I use in the corner. You can see the blue and the black one, so I just just realized that. I also get a lot of questions on how long these drawings usually take me. I haven't actually done a lot of like portraits like this. I've done a couple but I don't really like the way that they turned out because usually I try really hard in the beginning and try to make like I start with the eyes so like I try to make the eyes look really good and then I kind of uh, lose inspiration and motivation to actually do the rest so I rush the rest and I'm like yeah it's finished uh, yeah um <laughs> so but this one so far I've been working on it for about a week and a half on and off because like I do a lot of stuff in my sketchbook too because I'm also writing a story right now which sounds really weird but um, I'm working with my characters a lot right now and Hopefully I'll finish the sketchbook soon so I can show everybody because I'm really proud of this sketchbook so far. I really like the way that it is going and it's all about my characters and I'm really excited to talk about my characters. I love talking about my characters. But anyways, um, so far I've probably put about seven hours into this drawing. Uh, yeah, it's extreme, but <laughs> like seven hours give or take. Like I just like an estimate again it's been on and off I don't keep a timer but this part or this whole video is sped up and the original like video was actually around like 40 minutes 
I cut some of it out because my phone fell off and fell multiple times, so I cut all that out. So it came down to about 17 minutes after I sped it up. But yeah, it was around 40. And <laughs> yeah. But also, if you want to see more of this drawing, because I know this is kind of like a weird part of the drawing, it's just the neck. <laughs> Um, I have a couple videos on my TikTok actually, like, going more in detail. So, yeah, I'll leave that in the description. People always ask, always, or, sorry, um, people also, there we go, <laughs> always ask for, like, tips on how to be a better artist. So, I guess I'll just shoot some of my, the things that I've learned. Um, but I kind of just draw. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I just draw however I want and, um, then eventually you'll just kind of like start to like find how you like I, I it's this is like weird but I, I've just drawn and like then eventually you'll just like find like a way that you draw because like ev obviously everyone has like their own style but like um like I just kind of drew and that's how I found mine but I also took a lot of inspiration from like artists that I follow like on YouTube like I took a lot of inspiration from drawing with waffles like um I don't know like I just always watch her videos and like I always have her videos on when I'm drawing so I that's probably why I take a lot of inspiration from her but um I would just say like study from like real life so like go out and like I did some studies for a or I did some like life studies for a art school that I was applying to obviously got canceled for COVID but like it actually like helped me realize like oh there's actually like real life that you can draw from but if you can't go out like especially during this time definitely go to Pinterest and just kind of draw what you see on Pinterest whether it be like trying to draw it like how the picture is or just doing it in your own style like either way it will help you and that's what how like it's how it helped me like learn like my proportions because a lot of young artists or new artists use like grids to do proportions which I just never did because I'm lazy and never wanted to do that and a lot of people do use them still even like as like a not beginner but like I just personally like that just takes like the fun out of drawing like to prepare having to like do the grid but like I'd recommend them for some people they just weren't for me but other people, it could work so well for them. And I know a lot of people who, like, it has worked. And I have gotten questions, like, how do you do that without a grid? I'm like, it's just because I, like, I've just done this a lot. Like, trust me, it did not look like that the first time I tried it. And, um, like, you just have to, I don't know, you just kind of learn. And then I have definitely, like, every time I start a new drawing like this, I look back on my old drawings that I've done and just kind of been like, oh, okay so like the face is too long so like I take that and like I definitely I'd still look at the picture obviously and like I kind of like I draw a circle to start and then I always start with the lips like I kind of do a basic outline of the jaw and then I place the chin and then the lips and then like I try to like closely as I can um without grids obviously but yeah, I just find, like, that's the way it's easiest for me if I start from the list lips and go up. I don't know why. It just makes me, makes me put the nose not as long as I usually put it in one of my TikTok videos. <laughs> like, I was doing, like, a tutorial, an air quotes tutorial, um, and the nose, like, oh, the nose was outrageous. <laughs> yeah, that's just something I've had to learn and realize that I used to draw noses really long, which would elongate the face, and I'm looking at one that's on my wall right now, and the nose is so long, and the space between the nose and the lips is so long, and it's just, it just, mm, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, just, I've kind of just learned proportions by doing it and messing up, which, like, is gonna happen, especially when you first start drawing, I, ugh, like, I just, didn't know how to draw basically but like that's part of the fun of being self-taught is that you can see your progress and be like hey I went from this to this like I'm looking at another picture of Finn Wolfhard that I've drawn that is on my wall like I used to draw him a lot because he was like the first person that I drew like kind of like realistically again in air quotes 
not realistic when you look back but like I was proud of myself and then I was like I'm now I'm able to look back and be like okay I see everything that I did wrong in that picture while I was drawing it and now I can like take that and learn with it so like that's kind of like the main thing of you just kind of learn from your past drawings like I I'm not good at giving advice and like (laughs) I'm really really bad at it but I hope that like made sense I don't even know if that really made sense in my own head but yeah I was kind of just speaking not yeah (laughs) but yeah you just kind of learn and I know that's aggravating oh jeez because obviously you just want to be like good now and you want to have good drawings and you want to be able to like do everything like right now but the truth is like you can't and you have to learn and like to be honest like it's taken almost two years to be able to get to this point so yeah it's 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 a process and it you definitely have to trust the process and I hate when I see like young artists especially like 12 and like 13 year olds be like oh my art sucks I'm never gonna get better it's like you're 12 like obviously if you keep drawing you're gonna get better like that's just a fact like if you keep 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 drawing like and something that helped me was drawing every single day like um I was I got really bad in the middle of June like I didn't draw a lot in June because I was in Oregon with my family for two weeks I also didn't post on TikTok so I was kind of just gone and didn't explain so that's my bad but then once I got back I started drawing every single day and I I could see that like my poses and like my bodies and my faces were just kind of like improving like slowly like and I was like yeah it was just draw every day that's what I'll that's like the only advice I can really give you and keep trying like don't give up because something didn't turn out and I that's also something I see a lot of artists do is just like give up because of like one or two or three bad drawings that's that's what happens that's just life and um yeah if you're you're never gonna get better if you stop drawing so yeah that's what I (laughs) that's my advice to everybody also um, I think this is when my phone started to fall yeah also oh my hair is in the way (laughs) I'm sorry about that my hair is in the way a lot oh yep my phone had fallen and I had switched um switch like positions and the camera i'm sorry um i have a very professional setup um i have my mom's like old tripod that's like a about like a foot tall like i would say about that long and i have a really big kneaded eraser that's old um and i stuck that to the top and stuck my phone to it so very professional <laughs> yeah um hopefully i'll actually get better <laughs> at that so So, um, now I think I'll just talk about kind of, like, my process and what I'm actually doing. So, I have my reference, obviously. Um, I have it on my iPad, which you can kind of see in the top right corner. Um, you can kind of see, like, the bottom of the screen. But, um, I have my, the picture up there, and I'm just kind of layering different colors. I'm making sure that I'm putting them all down, like in one (laughs) in one direction and then so when I go with in with my blending stump or I think I go in with like a little bit of white later on I go like the other direction so it blends better and um it kind of makes it more like cohesive looking and I'm pretty sure by this time I was done with the neck and now I think I take like a light brown color and I go in with this freckles or do I go in oh no I'm taking a jelly roll pen um and I'm going in and highlighting his face because his face in this picture is very I wouldn't say like overexposed but I would say it's kind of it has a lot of bright points so I'm going in and kind of making the point like just like the high points of his face a little bit brighter so um I'm just like putting a couple dots down and then kind of spread or like smearing them so it looks a little bit brighter. I also did go in with like a base color of white for this whole drawing just to make sure I I, I just started at the lightest color. 
and um, worked my way up and added the shadows where the shadows were obviously and added darkest points later but like starting off with white I found was really easy to build other colors upon oh my cat just decided to jump up here um but yeah I'm kind of just repeating all of that process all over the place like on the cupid's bow the tip of the nose the chin I did a little bit on the eyelids too as well and um at some points after a little while my cat is deciding to eat okay um, at some points, the jelly roll decides just to not work, <laughs> so I go off in the corner and just kind of scribble it. Oh, I just moved the camera. Okay, I did not know I did that. Yeah, um, as you can see, I'm just kind of going in again and adding more of the jelly roll. I, I don't know why I thought to do this. I just kind of started doing it. <laughs> I think I accidentally smeared, but now I think... Yeah, I'm going in with like a light brown and just kind of adding some freckles. Like I don't, I'm pretty sure he, like the picture is a little bit grainy, but I'm pretty sure there's just like freckles. Um, so yeah, I'm going in and like just putting them wherever and then I go in later and kind of blend them out with the blending stump. So it was like, it was just really easy to like. I didn't really put too much thought into this part. I just wanted to add some details to his face. So, yeah. He has, like, oh, well, there's a couple noticeable ones. I like the bottom of his chin and, like, the top of his lip, I think. Um, so, I just went in and did those. So, um, I realized I breathed into the mic a couple times. And, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt your ears if I did. But, um, yeah, we're coming to the end of this video, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching, and, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions, like, definitely let me know. If you have any video ideas, also comment them down below. I will also have my social medias in the description if you want to follow them, because I post a lot on my TikTok, including videos of this drawing, too. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, and, um, I'll see you guys later.